What's going on, y'all? Y'all know who it is. I be Slick 50 for Slick 50 TV Podcast. Man, this Monday is so gloomy. Y'all can tell I got a cold. I got a head cold. That, that's the worst one. You hear me? The worst one. Man, oh, man. I had a whole little thing set up. Part of it I'm still going to talk about at the end, but... I just saw some stuff, man. It's reminding me of some things. I was like, let me go on and throw it out there. You know what I'm saying? This one is for my ladies. My, I don't even want to call y'all ladies, dog. Because you ain't mature enough, obviously, to be a woman. So, my girls, I guess, I don't know. I just ain't about to choose a bad choice of words for y'all. But, (laughs) but I will say this, man. Some women out there be tripping, Brody. Now, this is not for my women, women, my, my grown ladies. This is not for that. You understand me? Some of you women out there is tripping, bro. And like straight adolescents. All right. Now, my question is this. How can you get mad at a man for doing not being able to do something that you can't do for yourself? Again, how can you be mad at a man or or another woman, whatever, for something that you cannot do your do for yourself? That makes no sense, bro. If if you ask a nigga to buy you a cheeseburger because you have no money and he say he broke, how can you get mad at that man? You need to take that and um, go get a job or find a better way to save money or something. You can't get mad at that man or that woman for that. You tripping, bro. Like, and that's the same thing for the dude. Dudes, too. It's a dude. Like, I'm not understanding that. How are you mad at somebody else for that? Because you, you failed in the aspect of not having something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, pick shit. Pick yourself up, man, and get out here and hustle, man. Do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't make any, 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 any sense, bro. Like, real talk. And it tripped me out because I saw the example of it, and it tripped me out. You know what I'm saying? She was going in on dude. You ain't nothing. I don't know why I'm with you. It's a BS. I got with you for blah, 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 blah. And, and, and you said you was gonna do this, this, this. Look, man, don't y'all ever fall for that shit. Or what motherfucker say they gonna do? They gonna take care of you? They gonna do? Man, always still have your own money, bro. Both ways, men, and women. Cause nowadays, men sleeping under women. I watched the thing yesterday. Dude said, "I'm a home dad. I'm a stay at home dad." Nigga, I could never. <laughs> I could never. Man, I hate this do-rag. My bad. That was just random one. But I could never, ever, 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 ever be a stay-at-home. Man, get the hell out of here with that shit. I already stay home enough, but I still work. Ain't no motherfucking way, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got my own little ends. Ain't no way. That's the windshield wipers, y'all. It's raining. But, um, there is no way. And what's this cop looking at, bro? Dude, I hate these cops. They swear to God, they just be like this. Like, and there's probably a cop that already seen me before. Like, come on, man. Stop that shit, man. You just messed my train of thought up. But, um, well, I thought, no, it rolled up on me, boy. But anyway, yeah, have your own money, man. The hell with that shit, man. Ain't no way I'm be a stay at home dad. You know what I'm saying? I can see if you a uh, stay at home mom. That's, that's kind of some kind of some traditional shit right there, you know what I'm saying? Because mothers have those instincts for kids. You know what I'm saying? Well, daddies don't have a lot of patience for real. You know what I mean? But, um, and that's just a fact, bro. You know, I ain't gonna get into that, but, uh, and she was just going in, you know what I'm saying? He got to going in or whatever, and I was tripping, like, and I was trying to jump in it, like, yo, 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 yo. Y'all, you know, we doing that. He looked at me like, shut the fuck up. So I'm like, bet. <laughs> I keep it going in. But he just like, you I'm under a lot of stress and blase, blase. And you don't know, whoop, you wop, wham. Man, dude. 
shit was just crazy, man. All right, y'all, sorry for the interruption, man. But like I said, they was arguing back and forth. I was like, man, go do y'all thing then. You know what I'm saying? But he had a point, though, that as men, we do be under a lot of shit, a lot of stress just for the, the stigma of what a man is supposed to be or what a stigma the stigma of what a man's supposed to be and you know in all types of sometimes we stress ourselves out because we know we supposed to be in a better space than what we're in you know what i'm saying so you know what i mean and, and i ain't saying that ladies don't go through it either you know what i'm saying but that's where we gotta take <clears throat> we gotta take responsibility look in the mirror and say we gotta better ourselves somehow some way i gotta make more money or somehow some way i gotta do what makes me happy you know what I mean? Instead of taking it out on each other like that. But, you know, it don't always just come down to that. Sometimes motherfuckers just ignorant and think a motherfucker just supposed to do for them because they just asked. That's not life. That's not life. When you sitting at home broke, mad because nothing they can't do for you and you can't even do for yourself. You feel me? So I want to put that out there. It just trips me out. When I see stuff like that, you know what I mean? Girls go down here spend money on these fake titties and asses. I understand, excuse me, that Nicki Minaj and that, um, what's the old girl name she was beating with? I think, man, I just I'll be going blank. Yeah, whatever. Nicki Minaj and all them, they uh, cash doll, all them, they spend that money on that ass and them titties. But see, they doing that to make money, though. They invested in themselves because they know niggas gonna wanna look at them. And niggas looking at them, get them ratings, women buys the album. Hey man, it's a win-win for them. They ain't keeping that shit forever. So these low budget brands out here doing the same thing, walk around the hood, big ass titties and big ass asses, buying them waist shapers and all that shit, trying to look like Jessica Rabbit. When you could have been investing in yourself to make some damn money. Instead of trying to catch a nigga with money. You feel me? But yeah, you want to still call yourself a boss. Man, that shit ain't cool, man. Be a fucking woman, man. I almost said something that would have ruffled some feathers, but I ain't going to say that. But be a woman first, man. Straight up. I'm a boss, bitch. Man, look. Represent yourself right, man. You'll get what you need. You know what I'm saying? When you come with all that stupid shit, nigga, look at you exactly for what you present. And that's how you go get treated. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest with you. This is real, real dude. You know what I'm saying? How you present yourself is how I'm gonna treat you. <laughs> For real. First impressions are first impressions are everything. You know, unless I can talk to you and realize you ain't like that, then I'm gonna start rapping to you like, well, don't act like that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, man. Like I said, this was for my little ladies or whatever. I don't know, ignorant ass kids. You know, wake up, man. Wake up. All right, man. I'm going to leave that alone because I can go on for that forever. It's more and more, boy. You know, but like I said, if anybody get mad at that, anything I just spoke of, if a shoe fit, wear it. I don't regret shit I say. You know what I'm saying? That's just 100%. I never renege on nothing I say because I believe me. If I said that, I meant it. Everybody in my family tell you that. You know what I'm saying? If I don't come back with I'm sorry behind it, it is what it is. Now, this next one. Um, first off, I want to say thank y'all to everybody. I know it's like my hundredth time saying thank you, but uh, I'm saying thank you to the people who showed up, you know, on my uh, live or whatnot. Um, RBA, True Kicks, my brother, uh, Ron, especially my brother, man, my brother Eris. I ain't seen him in so long. It's hard for us to catch up, you know what I'm saying? He's down in the west, on way in the county now, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to um, address this too. All the punk ass motherfuckers saying something. Oh, he, oh, he say, look, that's my brother, nigga. Shit, anything can happen to me on any given day, knowing who I am, and then knowing who he is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, every time I see my bro, I'm going to tell him I love him. So y'all kiss my ass on that shit. Ain't shit gay about that. You need to say that shit, my nigga. But, um, <clears throat> who raised y'all ass? Shit. Uh, yeah, man, it was a weird. Had a good old time. I apologize for my computer. Man, dog. Uh, <laughs> that raggedy motherfucker. 
But you know what? Some people had a point though. But with Cloud and told some dial up. You know what I thought about though? But it, it is my computer because that thing only got like two to four gigs of RAM, man. It's too much shit running on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Um But it can it can't be the internet because I am on the third floor. I got three floors in my house. I got a basement, first floor, second floor, third floor. I'm all the way at the first floor, so I mean the third floor, so it could it could have been my internet, you know what I'm saying? So um But you know, also it could be the processing power, so it's all good, man. You know, man, I wanna correct some things. I said at the end of that motherfucker, cause I was dude, I went back, I killed that bottle. <laughs> Killed that bottle, boy. I was told back. You hear me? I was told back. I'm talking about by the time the end of that, everybody had left. God damn me! My computer was like, no, nah, dog, nah, we can't help you. I kept going in and out, freezing. You know, I, I'd be able to like, well, he can if, if he can hear me, man. I'm out. And once he was out, I got the talking, and all of a sudden I was on the screen, and I don't know. I was in a bunch of different shit like. Uh, it's not the internet, it's the computer. Like I said, it's both. It is. It's both us, internet and the computer. And I'm not getting no damn laptop, no three, four days. Not that I can't do it, but I'm not going to do it. Like, <laughs> not because I don't want just any laptop. I don't know what made my drunk ass say that. I don't know why my drunk ass said that. But anyway. Um, but like I said, I want something like an MSI... You know what I'm saying? Something with 12 gigs of RAM that can handle. Because I'm a type of person, like, if you go buy something, why not buy what's the best at that time for what you need it for? You feel me? I'm not going to buy Apple and all I'm going to be doing is, is, is mediocre stuff and it probably still couldn't handle what I got going on. So I'm going to go get, I think I'm going to go get the MSI. You know, it's pretty nice because one thing I learned, um, you can have two computers side by side, you know what I'm saying, if one ain't got the right amount of RAM and processor power that you need, you can have Sony Vega on there, and same quality video that you finna render, they can come out looking two totally different ways because of the RAM and the, or the processor power, you know what I'm saying, and I was watching that like, damn, so, you know, you really gotta really look at the specs, so for what I wanna do, I just might as well go for the best that's out there. It's going to run me about 12, somewhere around there. But, uh, hey, I'm going to get it. You feel me? Um, and that's it for the computer. But then I was like, uh, it came to my attention. I can't, well, who said that on there that Zaya said that they was, when she was white? Boy, that shit hung with me. Like I said, I was drunk. And I'm like, the fuck wrong with you? <laughs> I had to laugh at myself because, like, I don't know. I took that shit to heart when I was drunk, boy. Like, what? Like, how could you wish you were outside of how could you wish you were something other than other than what you are? Like, of course, I didn't know the whole story. You know what I'm saying? But you know. But then, a good friend of mine hit me yesterday. That watched my live. He watched all of them. Rob. He watched. Uh, I didn't know Rob like did one on the record. That's real facts. I did not know that. But he watched Rob, Zaya, uh, Skinny. You know. Uh, Ron and a couple other guys we watch, you know what I'm saying? That dude that's been doing live forever. Um, last night he was like, um, go watch the replay or whatever. And, um, I would look it up on my phone, but I'm recording on my phone. But he had me the time stamp. I went and Zeb basically was explaining why he said he would pick being white. My thing is this, I don't still I still don't agree with it. That's just my opinion. Because you're denouncing your race when you do that. Like I don't like that. I like what uh, uh what's my not my dude, but I just my first time seeing him, Houston sneakerhead or something up there. He had the glasses on. Uh, he was like I'm just gonna say black, bro, because see it's wealth in every race. You just have to look for it, bro. Like it ain't just white people. What just where do you think the white people got it from, bro? Like real talk. They stole that shit, family. Like, and then on top of that, to hear that I, uh, you know, about uh, Mexicans. Look, I'm not even getting that. Mexicans don't use the word. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. Because I was actually 
Then I said, was I on the beginning of that chat? I had let it go because I had got off the chat. I think I got out that chat when he said uh, it was a game. That's nothing to it. Like a real eye opener. It was something I needed to see. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I watch everybody. I don't be tripping, but damn, man. But my boy, I went and replayed it, whatever. I was watching in the beginning, but then he went back and watched the replay. But it was something why I got off the first time. Oh, when Rob was talking about all of this is a game, whatever Rob said, he did that to make Zaya talk about him so he wouldn't talk about Ron. And this is basically how it is. Like, this shit is a game. This and this and that, right? I was like, see, this is fake stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? This shit like wrestling, right? So, I had got off of it, but my buddy was like, nah, I'll go back and watch the woo woo and answer your question. So, of course, I went back, hit the time stamp, and um, it showed up it did. It answered my question about why he says it because of the money, the wealth, and this, this, and that. And, Bro, you need to do your history on on your people, on your people, and the reason you know what I'm saying that uh, a lot of regions don't trip off Puerto Ricans saying the word nigga, nigga or Dominicans, because y'all basically mixed kids, bro. Like, go do your history, like for real, for real. The Afro Latina is just just something that was just made up, bro. That shit's for real, for real. So. You know what I mean? Um, now, for us Mexicans, they don't say they don't. Uh, I used to live in California. Now, the hundred percent authentic Mexican <laughs> tell me, you know, like he know his heritage a hundred percent, and um, like he knows Spanish is not even his uh, native language. All types of shit, you know, you know. So they they say mayate they, they use that as like a, a derogatory term like black bug that's what it mean or whatever he was telling me some shit you know what i mean you know but they don't say nigga they don't be like you know they say vato you know what i'm saying your home way and shit like that but they uh uh cholo you know gangster but they ain't they not saying no nigga puerto rico say get away from certain regions but like you said you gotta really realize still it, certain parts of uh, like especially the south you're not gonna get that type of love that type of pass you feel me real talk so but it just bothered me you know what i'm saying but now like i don't want to interview you because you were speaking on some stuff that went like wow so this is a i already, I already been calling you howard cosell because in the beginning i peep what you were doing you're a master manipulator that's what you do you manipulate the situation and and make money off it that's all you're doing you the Howard Cosell, like when Howard Cosell used to bait Ali to give him a slick line, and they'll react off of that. You get the famous photos and the famous, you know, combatants. It's the same thing, you feel me? But then you went, now it's like, you going for it, it's just like, I don't know. It was a bait and switch, now it's not a bait and switch. Now it's, you just own, it, own them for what? Like, I don't know. I don't understand it. Like I said, I understood. Like, them niggas, Skinny and him, really don't like each other. First, I understood they, they were playing a game, and now they game went too far, and now they really hate each other. But this right here is a trip because you claim you act one way, and then you you claim you act another. Like, you say you're from BX. Like, last night you said, I'm from the hood. Right? But then you said, I didn't grow up in the ghetto. Nigga, then you from the suburbs. Nigga, what you think the hood is? The hood is the ghetto, family. Like, that's not... You grew up in a hood, and then you grew up in a neighborhood. <laughs> That's where you grew up, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the questions I was going to ask, basically you answered, so. Maybe we still chop it up or something on the live or something, get some clearance on it, but it still ain't. I don't know, just look different. You, it's different, bro. Like, you don't see the world. You see this. You got tunnel vision, bro. You don't have. You don't see it. You talk that shit like you be down to fight. You so worried about a gun. You don't have to die by a gun, family. You can die by a punch. A punch. My boy Tony just died on TV. Got knocked out. Got knocked out. Died. A punch. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, I'm not understanding how can a person create so much turmoil and not be worried about watching his ass when he leave out. 
You know what I mean? Like, that shit don't make sense, bro. It don't. But it is what it is. I mean, because, especially for a person, like, say, you grew up in a neighborhood, fam. You, all the BX ain't, 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 ain't uh, a uh, hood. It's suburbs. You know what I'm saying? So, or Queens or wherever. All of what, all of it ain't hood. I'm just saying, though. You know what I mean? And for you to say, yeah, I grew up in the hood. In, again, master of manipulating words. I grew up, yeah, I grew up in a hood. I didn't grow up in the ghetto, though. I mean, Lord forbid, I feel bad for people who had to grow up in the ghetto. You said, if that didn't sound like the whitest suburb kid I ever known, when you said that, I was like, you don't understand because you didn't live it. So when you question how Ryan act a certain way, it's because you don't understand it. You don't get it. You didn't live that hard life. You don't. You, you understand what I'm saying? You might not have as much money, but that don't mean your life was hard. People say to think that money qualifies you for a hard life. That's not what that's about, bro. Living in the in the in the hood and the ghetto is two totally different things, Brody. But yeah, man, I just want to clear it up, not to keep harping on. Much love to all of them. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I ain't got no problem, none of them. But. I just want to put that out there because I did say I want to interview him. Maybe we chop it up. But he answered a lot of my questions, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad my boy had me go back and look at that. But it was something, you know, cause Rob, and Rob had answered it. He was like, you know, it's a game. It's just a game to him. It's a business. And But to 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 at, to at what expense? I was taught when you making money off another man's downfall, you know what I'm saying? That ain't going to go nowhere for you. You know what I'm saying? So... Why I, I don't understand why, but I don't care about that answer to that question because I know it's wrong either way. So, um, yeah, man. But like I said, I was I was fucked up, boy. I was fucked up. I gotta get True back on there, man. True, cool, motherfucker, dog. I get, <laughs> why? I like True because he speak his mind. It's like you gotta respect it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta respect it because he go speak his mind. He don't mean no harm. He just that he a man. You know what I'm saying? So. I be a too, but I'm gonna leave this this podcast off with the best answers you could have to all this fuckery going on. One skin and get back to the interviews. That shit was dope as fuck. Fuck the fuckery, but I I, I understand a man's quarrel. You know what I'm saying? That's y'all quarrel. I ain't trying to intervene. I'm just saying the interview shit was banging. Ryan got great ideas. Man, follow through with him, Ryan, dog. You my dog. You know it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not understanding y'all quarrel either no more because it's just gone so long. You know what I mean? And another one, I don't understand how people try to control their chats. Now, this spread. I heard Skinny say it first. Now, no, I heard uh, Zayas say this shit first. Then I heard Skinny say it. It's like, now y'all trying to take control of chats. So you can't go look at somebody else or comment on somebody else. This is a free landscape. Now, I understand the rich thing because when you go live, I expect you to be there when I'm going live because you're there to watch. You feel me? But to try to control the man, tell them where they can donate and where they cannot donate, who they can watch and who they cannot watch. As if you, as if it's a job, like they're getting paid. You're paying them to be in your chat. Now, I don't think that's fair. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Now the, the fuckery is going too far. It's branching off into the people who are keeping your life live, my nigga. Like, it shouldn't be like that. If you one man want to go over there, now I do agree with the don't go over there talking shit about this person, then don't go over there talking shit about that person. Them niggas, I agree with that. But just a regular cat to say that loyal, come on, bro. It's alive. And if you donate to him, don't come over here. Come on, bro. You. That's just a little too far. You know what I'm saying? Now, donating a bad cause, that's a different thing, too. But I'm just saying, if a man just want to donate, don't, don't hate on that. You know what I mean? But um, what else I was going to say? But no, nah, that's it, though, man. I just try to cover all bases, man. Because I hate seeing, like I say, I just see a lot of money leaving. I see one one cat, Zaya, saying this is how he make his money. going to keep on doing it. But for how long is this going to last? Then... I got to see two dudes who actually got a legit quarrel with each other that really don't like each other. And now all these, really the two missing out on money, a whole lot of money. 
one on the outside making money off the other two long as they keep beefing, he gonna keep eating. You know what I'm saying? Rob gonna keep eating off of it. You know, we call them leeches. You know what I'm saying? Because they just latching on. And I ain't mean that in a bad way, but I'm saying you latching on to somebody else's beef. You don't have no legit beef. You know what I'm saying? Because quite kept, Ryan did stop for a whole week. Didn't say nothing about nobody. And y'all jumping. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is what it is. But just saying by saying that, man, I believe it was good words from the, one of the greatest I ever, KRS1. The best way to win a battle it's not to say nothing back. That's real spit. All right, y'all. That's it for this podcast, man. Thank y'all for riding with me the whole time. Um, like I said, I hope this all smooths out over. You know, you know, I hope it just be done. You feel me? It is what it is. Your boy Slick50. Like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. You hear me? Thank you for all my new subscribers just yesterday. I think we up to 1,020. You understand me? YouTube, quit playing. Let me go live on my phone. This was this should have been live. Okay. Alright, it is what it is. But it is what it is, y'all. Y'all be easy. One.